Chapter 7 Now after these things, in the reign of Artaxerxes king of Persia, Ezra, the son of Sariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Shalom, the son of Zadok, the son of Ahitub, the son of Amariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Mariah, the son of Zariah, the son of Uzai, the son of Bukai, the son of Abishua, the son of Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the chief priest. This Ezra went up from Babylon, and he was a ready scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord, the God of Israel, had given. And the king granted him all his requests, according to the hand of the Lord his God on him. There went up some of the children of Israel, and of the priests, and the Levites, and the singers, and the porters, and the Nethanim to Jerusalem, in the seventh year of Artaxerxes the king. He came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. For on the first day of the first month he began to go up from Babylon, and on the first day of the fifth month he came to Jerusalem, according to the good hand of his God on him. For Ezra had set his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it, and to teach in Israel its statutes and ordinances. Now this is the copy of the letter that the king Artaxerxes gave to Ezra the priest, the scribe, even the scribe of the words of the commandments of the Lord and of his statutes to Israel. Artaxerxes, king of kings, to Ezra the priest, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven. I will make a decree that all those of the people of Israel and their priests and the Levites in my realm who are minded of their own free will to go to Jerusalem go with you, because you are sin of the king and his seven counselors to inquire concerning Judah and Jerusalem according to the law of your God which is in your hand and to carry the silver and gold which the king and his counselors have freely offered to the God of Israel whose habitation is in Jerusalem in all the silver and gold that you shall find in all the provinces of Babylon, with the free will offering of the people and of the priests, offering willingly for the house of their God which is in Jerusalem. Therefore you shall with all diligence buy with this money bulls, rams, lambs, with their meal offerings and their drink offerings, and shall offer them on the altar of the house of your God which is in Jerusalem. Whatever shall seem good to you and to your brothers to do with the rest of the silver and the gold, that you do after the will of your God. The vessels that are given you for the service of the house of your God, deliver them before the God of Jerusalem. Whatever more shall be needful for the house of your God, which you shall have occasion to bestow, bestow it out of the king's treasure house. I, even I, Artaxerxes the king, do make a decree to all the treasurers who are beyond the river, that whatever Ezra the priest, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven, shall require of you, it be done with all diligence, to one hundred talents of silver, and to one hundred measures of wheat, and to one hundred baths of wine, and to one hundred baths of oil, and salt without prescribing how much. Whatever is commanded by the God of heaven, let it be done exactly for the house of the God of heaven, for why should there be wrath against the realm of the king and his sons? Also we inform you that touching any of the priests and Levites, the singers, porters, nethanim, are servants of this house of God. It shall not be lawful to impose tribute, custom, or toll on them. You, Ezra, after the wisdom of your God who is in your hand, appoint magistrates and judges, who may judge all the people who are beyond the river, all such as know the laws of your God, and you teach him who doesn't know them. Whoever will not do the law of your God and the law of the king let judgment be executed on him with all diligence, whether it be to death, or to banishment, or to the confiscation of goods, or to imprisonment. Blessed be the Lord, the God of our fathers, who has put such a thing as this in the king's heart, to beautify the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem, and has extended loving kindness to me before the king and his counselors, and before all the king's mighty princes. I was strengthened according to the hand of the Lord my God on me and I gathered together out of Israel chief men to go up with me.